Once upon a time when I put myself out there in the dating world, I met up with this guy who was really beautiful and I had a couple of dates with him and everything seemed to be going really well. And during the course of that, I felt the need to ask a couple of questions just to suss him out for myself. You know, we can all present ourselves in the most beautiful formats when we're talking to each other initially, but there are more media questions that warrant a conversation. And one of them was that I felt the need to know whether he'd ever, um, you know, have, have we been unfaithful to anyone or had there ever been domestic violence? Domestic violence was something where he said to me, of course not. He was actually quite stunned that I would ask the question, which surprised me. Um, he said, no, he said he would never, ever harm a woman. He'd never lay a hand on a woman. He was quite over the top about it. I felt, you know, or, or probably, you know, um, should have been over the top. He was just stating the fact that he would never do that. He would never hurt a woman. He had too much respect for women. And it was great. And I felt like we finalised the conversation. We got it out in the air. Um, you know, we'd sort of, we'd gone through that. And we went on to other things and enjoyed our lunch. But when he got home a few hours later, he gave me a call. And he was actually very angry on the phone. And I asked him what I'd done to upset him, if anything. And he said, well, it was that conversation I had with you today. He said, I was actually very angry that you raised that with me. Um, what sort of question is that, that you would ask a guy about whether there was ever domestic violence between him and anybody? That was a totally inappropriate question. And I asked him why, and he said, because, he said, that's just not something you ask in the dating game. And I said, well, I'd rather ask it up front, although um, in hindsight, you probably, one would probably lie about whether there was domestic violence between them and a partner, um, because, of course, you want to leave a first good first impression. However, if I don't get those questions out of the way, I would hate to find out later when you're throwing a punch at me. Um, you know, I'd rather have things out into the limelight. I did try and say to him at the time, too, you know, if you have, I'm sure you have your reasons. I just wanted to get this question out of the way and just for us to be open and honest with each other. If he had asked me, I would have been more than happy to answer without feeling defensive or in attack mode about it. Um, anyway, that was the end of that and I had no more to do with him. Um, he just chose to leave it there because he was uncomfortable with it, which is fine. That's entirely his prerogative. However, it did concern me. Oh, that was one thing he addressed with me. He said, is that because you've come through something? Have you come through domestic violence? Is that why you would say that to me? And he was quite aggressive about it in, in his language. And I said, well, yes, as a matter of fact, it is. I don't, I don't really want to put myself in that position again because it took a really long time for me to get out of it and to get healthy within my own boundaries and space again. And so he said to me, well, he said, that's not okay for you to have asked me that question. So we didn't see each other again after that. However, going beyond that, um, I wanted to address it a little bit more with you because I feel like, one, it's an important question, and two, it warrants a truthful answer for us to know where we stand with each other. But domestic violence is prevalent, okay? One in three women have experienced domestic violence, in, in Australia at least. It's higher in places like America. So one in three people have experienced domestic violence. Now, I understand that what the version of domestic violence is is quite broad, okay? Domestic violence can also be verbal abuse, and quite rightfully so, because there's some pretty denigrating things you can say to somebody and make them feel. Um, and one in four people get impacted, one in four men, sorry, get impacted from domestic violence too. Now, when we actually find out the ongoing um, side of it, what it can lead to. Once a week, a woman gets murdered through domestic violence from a previous partner or from a present one. Once a week. And once a month, a man dies from domestic violence from a previous or past, from a previous or present partner. When we look at statistics like that, don't we want our daughters, our sisters, our mothers, and each other to ask those questions, to have those conversations, and to start addressing it in ways where we stand united on this and we say it's not okay. We have to rise up and find solutions. How do you feel about that?